Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Lanzini and you are watching The Debate. Attendance in the MLB has been declining, so this poses the question, is the baseball season too long? Today we have Eric Prado and Brett Lerner and they are going to be debating the topic. Each person will have a minute to start and then they will just go at it. Right now we're going to start with Eric Prado. Um, okay, well, I don't think the baseball season should be shortened. I'm a traditionalist, you know, I love the 162 game format. You got that time in April where, you know, everyone's getting geared up for the start of baseball season. And yeah, you got that lull, you know, because the NHL and NBA playoffs, but then summer is just all baseball, you know. Wow, well, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get, so summer is just all baseball. You know, just sit back, whatever, go to a game if you want, or on TV, whatnot. And the season is so long that, like, this final month, or even shorter, you know, gets everyone pumped for that finish, that, like, second half rally, and that final week of baseball is just exciting, just because everything's been building up to that point, to get into the postseason, and then, like, and nothing beats October baseball because of what you have before then. Okay, now we'll hear Brett's side. All right, well, I would say that the season should be shortened. I'm a big baseball fan, but I think as of right now, baseball is kind of designed to be America's pastime and be America's number one sport. And I think baseball has to reconsider that that's simply not what's happening right now. I think football has very clearly jumped baseball in TV ratings, attendance, every aspect of, of the amount of fans. So I think baseball should adjust to that and kind of take advantage of the spots that they can and capitalize on that. So I think because summer is where baseball really dominates, I think baseball should shorten its season and kind of really make the summer their own, kind of capitalize on baseball being the sport in the summer and try to almost stay out of the way of the NHL playoffs and basketball playoffs and the start of football season as much as they can. There's obviously going to be a little overlap because of how baseball is. They need to have more games than the other sports, but I think they need to capitalize on the time of the year where they can really dominate and kind of not go head-to-head -head with football because I simply don't think they can in, in today's sports world. Okay. Eric, do you have anything to say to that? Um, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I, I, obviously football is going to be the better TV sports, and there's no argument there. But um, baseball in itself is just a totally different animal than football. Like football, you have only 16 games, so each game, like, is a representation of the player. Baseball, on the other hand, it's like the way it's set up, a guy can have that cold start and just heat up. And the same, same goes for a team. Like, so if you were to shorten that season, let's say hypothetically, then like the 2011 St. Louis Cardinals would have never had that run because they had you know that final month. Who's to say if you were to shorten that season, they would have had that final month to go on that run to win the World Series. And baseball, I mean, it's a sport where you know, a guy hits 300. That's three hits out of every 10 at-bats, you know. <laughs> so the length of the season means he has more time to prove himself versus however short a season you're saying. Yeah, I, I agree in the sense that obviously you can't completely compare to football, but I think the, the reason um, football dominates so much in terms of fans is the fact that every game really does mean something. And I was so excited for opening day and the opening couple weeks of the season, but I know there's going to be a time where I just completely lose interest in baseball and like the most I want to do is check the box score of my team every day and that's enough for me to keep up with them. And then, like you said, that last month always gets really intense, but I just think there's such a big gap where there just isn't much going on in terms of fans being involved in baseball. And I think one of the big things that us as fans love is the importance of every single game in a sport like football. And if you shorten the season, not a ridiculous amount, maybe 20, 30 games, just an idea, then you're you're putting that much more importance, at least, on each game. And you're not following it for as long. So I think that could help a little bit in terms of viewership and just fan fan um, involvement overall. I mean, I do think the the fan experience is there. I mean, it might not just seem like it. Like, you know, the ticket the ticket prices in baseball, another thing I think the, the length should be there it is, is because, like, a study came out, you know, baseball had, like, the, the lowest ticket, average ticket prices. You know, for instance, the White Sox tickets are $25. Yeah. Because there's 80... 81 games at home versus Bears ticket that average price is I believe $107 so the length of the game means you know different economic things and whatnot um, so I mean that's why I think the, that's another reason that it's just, it should stay the same 
Well, what do you guys think about um, the history of baseball? Um, it's always been 162 games, so do you guys think that shortening the games and making them less would kind of almost ruin the history of it? I do, yeah. Like, baseball's always been so long, going back to, you know, I don't know when, but yeah, it's always, just always been a, such a long, long season. Yeah, I mean, it changed to 162 games, I believe, in the early 60s, and before that it was like 150, so it wasn't a huge difference, but that kind of takes out the argument that this would greatly affect the record books if we cut 20 games off the end of the season, because they used to be about 10 games shorter, and we were just fine then with the records. Plus, the way that baseball's been going recently, I don't think we can focus on the record books much at all. In, in, in general, in terms of this argument, but then that, that had, but it no, actually kind of does because there's uh, yeah, there's a certain certain a minimum amount of batting a plate appearances a guy needs to like reach a, to be eligible for the batting <laughs> yeah, title. Yeah. Say so if you take away those games, then the MLB has gonna have to tinker with that, and you know so I mean it actually probably will have an effect on like certain stats and record books, and then also too I mean it takes away from guys reaching certain milestones. Like if you take away twenty something games and like. What if Jose Bautista is not going to reach 50 because he doesn't have those extra games? And, you know, not and like you said, I mean, recent developments, steroids, everything like that, you know, so guys aren't reaching that plateau anymore, and that's a big milestone. So the one, taken away from that. The one quick thing I would say to that is just the injury factor. I mean, we've seen, we've seen so many top prospects just never turn out, and I think that has to do with durability over such a long season. I mean, if the season's 20 games shorter, who, maybe maybe Mark Pryor is still an ace on the Cubs right now. It's, it's, it's That's also the nature of baseball. Though. There's so many guys who are highly regarded draft picks, they just don't make it. All right, guys, I hate to do this, but we are coming to an end. Do you guys have any closing statements? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> All right. And that concludes today's debate. As viewers, we want to hear what you guys have to say. So either comment on our Facebook page or Twitter or comment below on who you thought won. If you thought Eric won, you could do hashtag Eric. If you thought Brett won, you could do hashtag Brett. Also, we want to know what you guys want us to debate about. So comment on our Facebook page about what you want to see us argue. Thanks for watching. I'm Jenny Lanzini.